See that, yeah? Like me, I would love to be six foot five and stuff like that. But how is me being six foot five, how is that helping me? How is me, I'm five foot nine. How is me being six foot, how is that helping me, right? That is not helping me do nothing. It's all an insecurity. Even if you're five foot, unless there is a hindrance, unless your height is hindering you, yeah? How is being, if you're five foot, how is being five foot nine, how is that going to help you? Now, if you're five foot and you can't get on certain rides in the um, the theme park, then yeah, I get it, yeah? But if you're five foot nine like me, you don't need to be six foot. You don't need to be six foot three. Guys, obviously I ain't gonna fling up no pictures, nothing like that, yeah? But I'm telling you, if you guys saw some of the girls that I used to be with before, you'd be like, nah, no fucking way, yeah? And I'm five foot nine. Yeah. There's man out here who's six foot three, yeah, and they could not get the girls that I got before. Yeah, I don't know if it's because I was on the street or whatever in it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I know I was always a confident man. Yeah, always a confident man. Yeah, if you need, if your height determines your confidence, right? You're not confident, right? And what happens is, okay, yeah. So you become six foot, six foot three. What next? Bigger biceps, shit like, oh, I need to drive a nice car to attract women. No, like even the other day, right? I got a, a Vauxhall insignia to, um, because someone, some some girl must have damaged my car, so I got a Vauxhall insignia in it. Nice car in it, yeah. Now, I personally, I wouldn't pick a Vauxhall insignia to buy. I would never lease it. Like, even if they, were, even if I was leasing it for like. A hundred pound a month. Yeah, I just I wouldn't want to tie myself down to a, a, a Volkswagen insignia. I'd rather lease like a Mercedes or whatever. If I'm entering a contract, the car has to be a car that like you know of a certain caliber. But the insignia as a lease uh, as a courtesy car, oh, lovely. No, nah, I'll drive it like a maniac as well because the car's quite nippy, especially for one point six as well. It's got turbo and shit like that. Now. I came back to London with the Vauxhall insignia, innit? And I was driving around a couple of days, whatever, innit, yeah? And I'm not looking to see if people are looking or nothing like that, but driving around, whatever, innit? I didn't get no looks or nothing like that. Not that I'm looking. But I only noticed that I didn't get no looks until I think my second day in London or whatever, I got a haircut, fresh trim. Man, I've got the show line and them thing there, innit, yeah? I see a couple of girls looking. So I told my mum, yeah, and she was like, oh, they're just looking because they, they see you in a nice car. I was like, no, nah. they weren't just looking because they're in a nice car. They were looking at me. And that's the thing, right? I would never want to drive a nice car and have girls looking at me because I'm in a nice car. car. I want girls to look at me for me, not for the car that I'm driving, yeah? You can't drive the car in a restaurant. You can't drive the car into the bedroom, yeah? I want girls to like me. For me, I want girls to know it's me. For me, not because of what car I'm driving. Yeah, I want girls to like me because of just who I am as a person. Yeah, the internal attributes. Now, obviously, they like me because I'm good looking. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? That's something that's nat comes natural. But that car don't come natural. Yeah? Now I get it. Like, yeah, you know, girls might like guys because they've got money or whatever in it, yeah? and that symbolizes that maybe they're a hard worker and they're an ambitious guy. Yeah, I get that. It, that that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, but first and foremost, they need to like me just for who I am. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, I should be able to stand up in a t-shirt and fucking blue peacock's jeans and attract any woman. Yeah, because of who I am as a man, what I represent as a man. Yeah, this mindset. Yeah, the mindset of, oh, I don't want to get into this, yeah, but, oh, you know, because I'm black, or oh, I'm at a disadvantage, or, you know, oh, oh, I, I can't get anywhere in life because of this. No. I feel like I should attract a woman, yeah, because of the strength that I've got as a man, me as a person, yeah, that I'm going to overcome adversity shit, yeah. This is what I'm telling you right now. This is what women look for in men, right? They don't want weak men who blame other people for their problems, yeah? Women want the type of man that, yeah, even if stuff isn't going his way, yeah, he gonna rise up, yeah? He gonna overcome adversity, yeah? The type of man, he will lose a fight, but he will get up and keep fighting, 
Yeah, that's what attractive to women. This is why, yeah, you see all them guys, right? They're good looking, nice car, and that, but they seem they can't seem to hold on to any women, and they just don't understand why. Because they're hiding behind the insecurities, yeah. They ain't worked on themselves as a man. Yeah, they ain't become the best version of themselves as a man. So, yeah, what happens is they, they, they attract all these women, yeah, with their looks, yeah, which might come natural, that's cool, yeah. They attract all these women with the nice car and the gold chain and even status, yeah? But they ain't got their, their internal attributes, yeah? The, the real strength as a man, yeah? Not taking shit, standing up to bullies, yeah? Overcoming adversity, yeah? So yeah, they get the date with the girl, but the girl realizes, you know what? He, he, he really soft, he's really actually weak. Yeah? He ain't what he ain't really become the best version of himself externally. Yeah, yeah, Balenciaga and yeah, yeah, Gucci and that and yeah, LV shades on and that. Yeah, but what's he like as a man? Yeah, if I took everything away from him right now, yeah, would he be that same person? The answer is no. And this is why certain men they they can't hold on to girls. Yeah, because they ain't worked on themselves as a man. A woman will always do this thing called the pullback. They want to test your strength. Yeah, you want to find out how strong a man is emotionally. Make his girl leave him. Make his girl. Make his girl tell him that she's gonna go and find another man. Yeah, and see how he reacts to that. Yeah, if he's got enough strength to not beg the woman back, then he's a strong, strong man in that aspect. Yeah, if he begs the woman back, then he's gonna go and lose the woman. Yeah, hundred and ten percent. Weakness from a man is the equivalent of a fat, overweight woman. Yeah. So, if I display weakness, yeah, me J Wise, yeah, if I display weakness, yeah, that's the equivalent of a woman being fat and overweight, like Jabba the Hutt, right? I don't know, who, who do we know who's really ugly? Uh, well, actually, no, we, we're not dissing no one in it, yeah, but just imagine someone, you might have your neighbor or someone like that, really fat and overweight, ugly woman or whatever, if you're a guy watching this, right? If you act weak, yeah, you see how you look at her and you're like, oh, I wouldn't even want to piss upon her if she was on fire, yeah? You see how you look at her? That's how a woman will look at you when you lose weakness, when you lose your strength, when you act weak, yeah? When you act like you cannot survive without that woman. How the fuck? I started talking about appreciating what you have, and I'm talking about man losing women over weakness, but it, it is what it is, isn't it? I love how I just digress.